Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Horseplay TV in the Polo Channel's live coverage of the Triple Crown Final. We're coming to you live from Polo Fest in Denver, Colorado at the Denver Polo Club. My name's Gus Whitelaw. I'm joined by Greg Keating. Hey ho, Taranko. Greg's going to be doing the play-by-play -play for us here today. Hey ho will be our analyst. We've had a great day of polo already. Two great matches to work into Polo Fest here. We started the day with a youth match. We went right into a women's match after that. We've had some great performances on the main stage. And now we're getting ready for our all-pro final match. Hey ho, what can we expect to see here today, buddy? Today we are gonna have an amazing day of polo. I think it's the best polo in the world. So I think everybody needs to, to enjoy and, and see some good goals and good runs on, on, on all the best players of the world, yeah. Greg, what can we expect? What are your two cents here, buddy? I expect nothing but superb polo and brilliance, because quite simply, these guys are brilliant. You've heard it out of both of these guys here. We expect nothing but the best. We've got a beautiful day here, about 90 degrees as we look to start this match. Sit back, relax, folks. We've got a great match of all pro polo coming right to you. We're gonna get into our pregame festivities right now. We are ready for this Triple Crown <coughs> Final to begin. This is an all-professional match out here. Every player you see on the field, a professional, a highly rated professional athlete, Colorado, La Dolphina, Colorado, and Hawaii out here. Again, Colorado in the dark jerseys, Hawaii in the light jerseys. We're seeing a four-on-four -four setup here. The field is 300 yards long, 160 yards wide, six periods, each of them six and a half minutes long. The umpire's going over final instructions now. We are ready to start this match. We're rocking and rolling at midfield. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First team to win the line up in the first checker. Oh, we have a player up there on the ground. Juan Britos, thankfully, all is okay. Just a little bit enthusiastic there, <laughs> hey-ho, just came over the top, eh? Yeah, they went all into the, into the same play, and, and he went a, a little bit away off the holes and, and had a slow fall, but nothing you, happened. You can him. see a big smile on, Juan, on Juan's he's face smiling. out there. He's, Thank he's probably a bit, a bit uh, embarrassed, embarrassed eh? <laughs> but well, well done, Juan. <laughs> you see the replay here, let's watch him. Watch him on the replay. You see one? Well, we're not going to catch it all there. Okay, they're back in business and straight away. It's the great man himself, Adolfo Cambiasso. Let's one go. Downfield, he sends it. Pressure here on, on the Hawaiian team, but the ball is out to the right-hand side, going back to defend. Will be Juan Martin Zubia. Yeah. Hasn't reached the back line. He has time to check and turn. He's been taken on by Sterling. Sterling waits now. Zubia sends it upfield, trying to find his teammate there. Coming in, it is Hilario Ujoa. Sends it upfield, trying to find his another teammate there. Now here comes Juan Britos. Comes back to defend. Helped out by his teammates. There, that is Torres. Britos checks Ooh. and turns. Gets rid of Diego Cavana. In comes Guillermo Terrera. Nice little steal there by Diego. And it is Hawaii Polo Life who come forward. He looks for a big drive in field. Didn't quite get a hold of it. Going down towards the target. Coming across field. Britos sends the ball over to the opposite side of the field. And gets it out of the danger zone. Over to the far side they go. Britos just checks up over there now. He's looking around to see what the play is. His teammates are up front. He's been helped out there by his teammate Torres. Britos lets it go up towards the halfway line along the ground. Over there, it is Adolfo Cambiasso. He's taken on by Ujoa. Kavan is there as well with pressure. Hilario wins the day on that one. 
tries to come in field. Adolfo looks for the hook, doesn't get a hold of it. A little pass there by Ujoa, doesn't find it, and Sterling turns quickly. Sterling now, can will it be the first goal of the game for Colorado? Big drive by Sterling, trying to find Camiasso going back, going up there to try and get a hold of it. Back to the fence goes Hilario Ujoa, puts the ball under the horse's neck and brings it into the corner. Ujoa now will be taken on by Sterling, he comes in there hard. Boy, they're riding pretty hard here, aren't they, guys? Happy days. Thank into you. the corner we go. And a little bit of melee in the corner. Calvin is in there looking for it along with Sterling. So too is um, Ujoa. And it's Ujoa who wins the day. Brings it forward. Launches one. High in the sky it goes. Pitos is back to the fan with the green helmet. In behind him is Gajero Matarero. Backhand by Ooh. Pitos. Almost there at the air by Ujoa. Turning around quickly. Who's going to get there first? It was Sterling on the near side. But coming into play, it will be the umpire. And hey ho. What, yeah. do we, what do we see there? <laughs> they were there are only two minutes play, and I think they've been given such a good rhythm to to, to this game. Uh, I think we we expect a, a great game. Eh? So our first stoppage in time here. The clock only stops on the whistle of the official. Those guys sound the whistle when they see something that doesn't quite jive with the rules put in place by the governing body of the sport. The fouls are placed at the discretion of the umpires based on the severity of the foul. In this case, they're going to place it 60 yards out from the goal mouth. It's going to be a penalty four here. So just to set this up, the guy hitting right here is going to be hitting towards a defended goal. Colorado has possession. They're hitting towards Hawaii Polo Life. Hey, ho, tell me what's going through the hitter's mind right now as he circles. What's he trying to do with this ball? Normally at this level of polo, he, he needs to put the ball flying to, into the two posts because normally if he goes in whatever goes in, 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 in was quite strong, strong shot. Yep. And normally you have, you, you, you think on putting, make the ball flying and, and that's the only way they cannot stop it. So on those penalty fours and on those defended, that guy's really just looking to get loft and get it over the guys in the goal. Yeah, and they have to pass it by ear. So a tough one, a 60 yard shot converted with ease by the King himself, Adolfo Cambiasso. We're back to midfield for a throw in. The teams have switched directions. They do that after every goal scored, compensates for any potential wind, sun, or field conditions, and we're rolling again. Off we go again, straight through from the pack. Adolfo tries to get a hold of it, taken on by Ujoa. The two 10 goalers come together. Back on by Ujoa. Wasn't great by his standards. And who's going to come into it now? Sterling is quickly there. Adolfo's gone forward, looking for a pass. Sterling goes down the side. Will he play the next shot? What a play by Sterling, sent in towards Cambiasso, but it's not going to reach. Coming in there to help now will be Ujoa. Look for a big one, but it again didn't get a hold of it. Zubir from the back drives it upfield. Adolfo, where he was down the other end one moment, and now he's up this end defending. There's the backhand pass. Beautiful play towards Sterling over on the far side. Oh, what a beautiful touch by Diego Kavanagh. Finds Zubia coming forward now also. It is Terreira. Is Terreira still with the call? Or is, yes, it's Terreira who has it. He'll drive one from distance, but it's out to the left-hand side. That was more like it, hey-ho, from the Hawaii Polo Life team. Good teamwork there, right? They, they've, been, they've been, I think they, they've been a bit unlucky on, on, on some hitting some long balls, but especially they had Terreira twice in, in, in the front. But I think at the minute that they get into the into the rhythm of the game, the, four, the eight players will will start getting a lot better in, on the on the hitting. Adolfo from the back line for Colorado. Adolfo, a little angle drive out to the side, looking to find Sterling from Uruguay. Ten goals and handicap drives it upfield. Britos runs onto it. Kavner goes back to defend. Kavner takes out the man to his right, looks around to see where the ball is on his teammates. There's the backhand by Kavner trying to find Ujoa, who picks it up head on. Here comes the backhand by Ujoa, going up there towards Guillermo Terreira. And Terreira can go forward here, getting a get, get control. It is Guillermo Terreira up there. Santi Torres goes in, coming behind him is Sterling. He's taking the scenic route, is Terreira. Here comes the next shot. Can he find the angle? Terreira! Ooh. Oh, that wasn't far away. What a shot. Man, oh, man. Very, very difficult one he got it there. And he almost scored. What a drive that he took through traffic there. There are not many people that control the ball as well as Guillermo Terrera. And did that go through? No, or no. They under the checker? They're no, 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 no. They whistled they whistle to change horses for, for, for <laughs> exhausted horses that they need to change mm -hmm. it in, in, in the middle. You know. While we're talking about horses, so what, what, what we're, hey -ho's saying there is that the umpires will, will take a break in the action here to let these guys change. We've been nothing but running since this match started. 
Uh, so, Heyo, tell us about the strategy that goes into what horse is used when and how important the horses are to these players out here. Hey, bueno, normally and they... just so you all, in case you all don't know, Alejo Taranco was one of the best in the game. He was supposed to be playing out here today uh, and took a little tumble, is on the, on the mend right now, working on fixing a wing, had a collarbone situation. Uh, bad news for him, but great news for us is that he's now in the booth <laughs> with us here today. Thank so you, tell you. us about the horses, Hey ho The horses are very important. Actually, they say that it's uh, 60% of the game, uh, especially on the, on the 10 goals and the best players in the world, they need to have the best horses. And normally what they, what they do is they start on a very comfortable horse in the first chakra to feel the confidence and, and, and be, start well in the game. And then as, as soon as the game starts going on, they start getting, coming in the best one, probably in the fourth or fifth period, are always the best, the best two horses, in, 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 especially on my list. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then always in the last one, you can <coughs> bring back a, a good one and, and, and double it. So we see here now, just to set it back up, 151 remaining in chucker number one of six that will play in regulation. It's Colorado on the knock-in. Cambiasso from the back line, under the neck, out to the left-hand side, looking to find Britos, puts it on the end of his mallet. Britos taken on there by Ujoa. Now it is Torres who has it, lets it go, drives it along the ground. Here comes Cambiasso through from the back. Can he go all the way? Sterling, I should say, Kavanagh's out to his left-hand side. Cambiasso, Ooh. good work by Kavanagh. Did enough to put him off his stride and missed the ball. Backhand again, turned around by Guillermo Torreira, trying to find Larry Ujoa over on the far side, and he has control. Ujoa, the other thing all out here. Britos waiting. Ujoa, Britos did enough. Sterling's there also to try and take it forward. Britos gets the hit. Here oh, comes baby. Adolfo. Adolfo Cambiasso. So surely the great man is not going to miss from there. Very good play. One Blitos and Adolfo finished it off. Superb. Great, great play from from. I think uh, Hawaii was a bit unlucky on a on a on a. He bounced on a on a on a leg and 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 always. Adolfo is, is a great opportunity. Man, you have to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. You have to be perfect playing yeah. against that man. You don't. You cannot leave anything anything any chance to him because then then he will always score. Winding things down here in chucker number one. Ball's back in play. Enough time for one more play. In play it goes, and it is Juan Martín to be a young Argentine player. Made his debut in the Argentine Open this year. Just loses control momentarily, and Ojoa gets taken on by Sterling, and Sterling picks his pocket. Sterling, can he go all the way? Surely he's got the break. Zubia goes back to the fence. But a backhand by, by Juan Martin Zubia. But again, the great man is there. Will he take it on? Over to the far side, he goes on the near side. That was Adolfo, but Terrera steals it away. Open backhand by Terrera, trying to find Kavanagh. Next shot, Kavanagh doesn't come off. Britos there as well. Kavanagh gets a second one of the cherry. Here's the pass up towards Larry Ojoa. Has the whistle gone? I think that's that's the end of the chuckle, ladies and gentlemen. Let them hear it, please, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0 Colorado will lead this Triple Crown final for 2019. Back with the start of the second chuckle, and straight away Sterling wins the lineup for Colorado, brings it forward, taken on by Kavanaugh there. Ooh. But the hook was superb from Ujoa. Stops Sterling from going forward. Now Cambiaso gets control. Let's it go from distance, sent down towards the target. It's heading out to the left-hand side. In comes Torres. Can he keep it in play? Across the goal mount by Torres. What a play by Santi Torres. Over the far side it goes, but it's taken on now by Kavanaugh again. Whips it upfield. And here we go. It is Ujoa who comes forward now. Will it be the first game of goal of the game for Hawaii? Paul alive. Cambiaso on the fast play. Goes back to the fence. Ujoa just checks up a little bit. He waits for his players to go up there. Oh, yeah. There's a the big drive to goal. It's across the goal mount. Will it be the first goal of the game? I don't think it is. It's going towards the back line. Out of play. That's more like it. Hey-ho from yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Hawaii away. Polo Life team. Eh? We're going, going up and down very very fast. And, and, and they, they've been playing a great game. Opening the every play. And I think... Yeah, we have Cambias on the knocking. Adolfo. Out to his left. Finds Sterling. Chasing is Ujoa. Sterling. Look at this. Out of the air on the half volley by Sterling. What a drive downfield he goes. Kavan is going back to defend. Sterling's on the run. Good play by Zubia. Takes out Sterling and leaves the ball free for, for Kavna. Kavna checks and turns. Up there also is Zubia, I should say, uh, Britos. Ooh. Ooh. Stealing it back is Sterling. Look at him work. Look at this from Sterling. He's taken on by two players and he gets the backhand down towards Torres, but a little back. 
flicker turn around again this time by Zupia. Nicely done, met Ooh. by Kavna. Kavna gets the right away, he gets the line of the ball. Coming in now, it is Ujoa who steals it away. Sterling chasing him behind. Will it be the first goal of the game? No, oh, I put the muckers on him. He's left it behind. And what a play by Cambiasso on the hook by Kavna was superb. Britos checks, turns. These horses just simply outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. The agility Ooh. and everything else involved, but we have an umpire's whistle. Hey ho, tell us what happened there. The they, they was a foul because uh, number one of Hawaii was stuck on the line of the ball and, and he came, they had to hook him in, in, the, in the minute that he was going to hit the ball. So let's watch here on the replay. Yeah. You can see there, number one white is stuck on the way and the number two come and... Mm. So what the umpires want to see there is the two white jerseys give room to the gray to make his play. If they don't give him the room, they're going to stop it. They don't want to blow that whistle because no. they want to keep the game moving. Yeah, that's right. But, but they, they have same, to. They, they have to give the advantage on the gray that, that, that he's having the possession of the ball. And so possession oh. given back on this one. Yeah. Okay, penalty 5B, Adolfo lets it go from the house. Look at this, it always took a hit in a divot. Backhand again, what a play. Beautifully done by Ujo, but a straight up field. Turning onto a Kavna gets the break. Kavna now, run. Adolfo goes out to the left hand side. Kavna, who is the faster horse here? Diego Kavna downfield for a wide polo life. Kavna will shoot from distance. The approach is looking pretty good. Will it be 1 1? Kavna shoots. Good play by Torres. What a play by the American. He stopped Kavna from going forward. And look at Adolfo just checking Torres at his ledger, almost as if he's going to have a cup of tea and a little passed out, field towards his teammate there, look at this, is Sterling Sterling is free down the side, he has time to check and wait, Ujoa comes in to challenge Ujoa, Sterling, they have a little bit of a fight, a tussle together, Sterling gets it back, Ujoa must get out of the way here he can't foul to him, he can't go in there and just steal it, but he has, and he's done it legally the umpire's whistle is silent, Ujoa has the ball, another big drive by Ujoa, it's out to the right hand side of the goal who's coming in, it looks like it's the number one, what a hit and what a goal by Guillermo Talera. It's all tied up, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. 1-1. One, one. Correction, 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Nice moves there. Kavanaugh getting the momentum rolling down there. Nice moves. Talera with just feet. Before that ball left the field, ever so gingerly touches below the nose of his pony, puts it between the pipes and onto the scoreboard. Nice moves by how the way. How did he find that angle? That was incredible, wasn't it? Incredible. Not, e not easy at that speed to, 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 to put a ball. In, I don't know, probably he got only 10 centimeters of, 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 uh, yeah. of the goal. To Now, is that Jordi that yeah, Diego's Diego, Diego on? Diego is on Jordi. Yeah, he's a Palomino stallion uh, from, from the great uh, mother of Jord uh, Josie. Josie. That Josie. was a Palomino mare that played in, in England many years with, with Adolfo and Henry Brett. Everybody remembers that Palomino that Adolfo played over there. Yeah. Absolutely. And that horse, Rob Janavis played that horse in every single, single match in First the World Chucker. Polo League. First the most the... faithful yeah. Palomino pony in town. Nice work. Here nice we go to again. see Jordan. Off we go again. And Torres called off by Britos. Britos checks, turns, brings it around, sends it. Tried to find a big one there, didn't get much on it, but he gets a second bite. Good play by Kavna. Sterling coming forward again up the center he goes. David Sterling drives it down towards the goal, won't reach Torres. Ujoa goes back to defend for Hawaii Polo Life. Backhand, unlucky, comes off the horse. Torres taken on by Juan Martin Zubia. Torres, Zubia trying to find it. Kavan is there also to help out. Diego checks and turns, but he leaves the ball behind. Ooh. Can Torres score? Surely the American will score from here. Goal is good from Santiago Torres. And all of a sudden, there's four goals to one. Torres the scorer, and they're looking pretty good here, Colorado. Great effort from Santi. Great effort from Santi. It's 3-1. Three, three Correct. It's 3-1. I beg yeah, your pardon. Three to one the score uh, on, a, on, a, on a great play. It's, it's been a great game. It's exciting to, 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 to see the I think that they figured each other out. That first chucker may be trying to understand where each other were going, and now they're just ripping. Back right. to midfield. They're back to the center. Umpire will want just a little bit of space as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, right, they, they, they say. Lot anyway. Of, lot, of, a, lot of pressure in, the, in, the, in every play, so it's very tight. There's no much room. Absolutely. <laughs> Terrera gets it from the lineup for Hawaii Polo Life. Are they on a bit of a roll here? Ooh. Good play again by Terrera. Adolfo goes into challenge. Cole coming through from, there, from the back, steals it away. While Santi Torres, Torres checks and turns, brings it out to the side. Good play by Santi and takes it away from the center and away from the goal equally with Torres. Ujo is there. Torres now. Sterling. Sterling 
being hustled all the time by Ujoa. Ujoa stolen it away, and he can get control here. Correction, that was Terreira. And the ball just left behind momentarily. Kavna has it again. The players stopped. They're all in a bit of a heat there. Who, hey ho, tell yeah, us what you, what yeah, you they, see. They step, out, they step on the ball and, and, and they have to roll it in. Um, it's amazing because you see that they, they came up from this throwing and they be pressuring and each play, each play, and, and they don't find much room because you have you know eight players that are, are great on, 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 on this game and sometimes uh, it's difficult to, to, to find the, the spaces. I think actually they whistle. I think there's a penalty there. Yeah, they it? whistle a penalty. I thought I thought they step on the ball and they whistle a penalty. Sixty in yards fa uh, in favor of the Hawaiian team. Big chance here to get back into it and make it three goals to two, with 131 remaining to the first bell of the second chaka. Kavna looks like the designated player. It's from 40 yards, penalty number three. For 40 yards for Juan, Juan Susubia. Correction, it's Zubia. They can defend this penalty. Yeah. It's the only penalty. Yeah. Uh, 40 yards and 60 yards, they can be defended, not the 30 yard. Zubia for 3 2. Got a great angle. As we it's look on the ground, they can try and stop it. They, they couldn't get there in time. And one Martin Zubia gets the goal that makes it three goals to two. Just explain that, please, um, hey ho, how they can defend this. They must come from either side of the post and they can't come over the back line until the ball is struck or struck out. Is that correct? They, they, can, they can enter into the field once they hit the ball and it's, that's in the 40-yard penalty. In the 60-yard yeah, pen, penalty, the 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 penalty, they can defend it on the th yeah. from the 30 yards inside the field already. Right, they're back to the centre, change of ends. Tight contest here in play. Britos, far side. Guillermo's chasing him behind. What a drive by Pritos. Look at this. It's absolutely humongous. It's out to the left-hand side, and that was 100-plus yards, ladies and gentlemen. What a hit by one Pritos. Oof. That was quite superb, wasn't it? Yeah, hey, long, long yeah. ball. Yeah. Long ball from a young guy. Long, long, long shot from, from, from Juanu. Zubia from the back line. Hawaii Polo Life. Clocks winding down rapidly. Zubia, far side. Sends it up there, stopped by Sterling, tries to bring it around, taken on there by Ujoa, Britos in there as well. Adolfo comes through and steals it away. He read that beautifully, he looked for the big one, he lifted his head as he wanted to strike it, didn't get a hold of it. Backhand by Kavna, sends it over to the far side, trying to find his teammate Ujoa. He's taken out of the play by Sterling, backhand by Sterling. Oh, what Ooh. a blow, beautifully driven by Guillermo Terreira but I think it's gone over the side and out of play. Mm -hmm. And that is the end of the chucker, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together again. The scoreboard reads Colorado 3, Hawaii Polo Life 2. They'll be back with the third in a few moments. Thank you all very much. Players and ponies back out on the pitch here in preparation to start chucker number three. Now we'll start chucker number three at the point where the ball was when chucker number two came to an end. Now you remember that ball was on its way out of bounds at the end of chucker number two. It's hit out by Guillermo Terrera, and it looks like we're setting up here for an inbound play. The white jersey team hit it out. The gray jerseys will bring it back in. When the umpires are ready, they'll drop the ball. That means we're good to go. Okay, so here we go, chucker number three. Adolfo, Off and working. Adolfo brings it forward. There's the big kick down along the ground. Back to the fen goes Juan Martin Zubia. Picks it up at his leisure. Takes the ball out to the side and gets it away from Sterling. Zubia Sterling comes together and Sterling steals oh, it yeah. away. Checks, turns, bring that horse around. The agility of these animals is something out of this world. Still with Sterling. He's along the background the back line, turn around by Juan Martin, open backhand into the corner, but Sterling's there again, he's everywhere, isn't he, Sterling? Look at this, there's the pass infield, who's there to meet it? Oh, it's Adolfo, no, he loses it, and it was Kavna, I think it was, who drives it over to the far side, and coming on now, Guillermo Torreira on the grey. Left behind, Zubia, correction, Kavna, along the ground, Trying to find his teammate Ujoa. Sterling goes over the top. Ujoa gets control. Hawaii Polo Life with the call. He fixed the pass. Torres, clever play by Ujoa. He's still going forward here. Danger. And Sterling stops him there with the backhand. Coming in now. It'll be Kavna again. Open backhand. Sent in towards the target. Coming forward. Sterling almost got a little bit onto it. Turning and checking very quickly indeed. Do you have an umpire's whistle? We do. Yeah, there was a... There was a Hilario uh, picked pick up all from, from, from Diego Cavanas and an open back, backhand pass 
and and they 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 caught Pelon on a on a cross line. So what I, essentially the breakdown of that for people that aren't as familiar for polo, as polo with we as we are, we'll watch on the replay here. But when a when another car on the highway cuts you off, they come and get in front of you or around you at too close of a of a of a distance at, for the speed that you're going. That's a foul in polo. So if somebody comes in, creates a dangerous situation of any sort in the minds of the umpires based on the rules of the game. They sound the whistle, stopping the action, a right of way or a line violation, really similar to somebody cutting you off on the highway. So now a penalty is assessed here, again, based on the severity of the foul. So we'll see how they've got this one lined up here. Penalty two. Looks like it's Zubia and a chance to equalize, ladies and gentlemen, and make it 3 3. One Martin. High in the sky, they're certainly not going to stop that one. And a beautiful strike from Juan Martin Zubia. We have a tie ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Game on. Three apiece, you can't beat that. That's what we're here yeah, for. We'd love yeah. to see the tight match. We'd love to see these guys kind of going pound for pound out here. The penalty line there, they make them pay. Yeah, that's like, it's, been a, it's been a great game, eh? We, Back to midfield. Umpires lining these two teams up. Now what they want here is the white jerseys on one side, the gray jerseys on another. Both of those teams will jockey for position. Good luck with that one. Anyway, the backhand by Sterling. Torres almost stole it away there from Juan Martin Zubia. Backhand turned around by Juan Brithos down the side. He sends it. Almost finds Torres, and I think he's done so. Ujoa in there as ever fighting. He's tough as nails, this ploy. It's still with Torres. Has he got the break here? Near side pick up by Torres. Draws it down towards the goal again. Back to the coming in there now. Sterling picks it up. Sterling, but he's out to the out to the left hand side and he's gone a little bit too far out to the left and wide so you can see that Pelon is playing one of, of Porotos Cambiasos horses oh. on his list so but he's that, borrowing that, one of Adolfo's yeah. son's horses yeah she, she's called Ficha and she's so quick and, 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 and ready handy at the same time, that, that's why he's so comfortable in this checker. That makes him a very dangerous person. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody with that much skill on a horse that's equally talented. Right. The turnaround by Juan Britos. Adolfo, angle shot, didn't find it. To the back line they go, and it will be Kavna. Little backhand pass towards his teammate there, Hilario. Hilario's got away from Adolfo chasing. Hilario lets it go, but Torres has time to go back at his leisure here and just slow it down the tide and turn it around for Colorado. Santiago Torres, taken on by Diego Kavna. Torres, Kavna. Torres lets it go out to the right hand side, pinpoint perfect pass towards teammate Juan Britos. Adolfo's over there as well. Britos, Adolfo. Adolfo says, I get control. Little top, little pass, leaves it for Britos. Ooh, Pick man. up by Adolfo. Beautiful play on the near side. Coming in there will be the number one. What a play by Guillermo Terreira. And what a play the horse made as well. Turned it on a six pins. Terreira now. Upfield he goes. Britos is in front. Terreira has the call. Unlucky comes off the horse and finds Adolfo, who has time to check and turn. Going back to the fin will be one Martin Zubia. Cambiasso Ooh, Sterling's going up for the pass. It is Adolfo Cambiasso. Zubia's copy twixt them between. Cambiasso. Cambiasso surely 4-3, the legend, the great man, Cambiasso scores, it's 4-3. You know, that's one of those deals that can kind of come down to math. You've got two 10-goalers and a 7-goaler. You've got 20 goals versus 7. That man had his hands full. No, nothing against what Juan Zhu was doing back there. But, man, you don't have your hands any more full than when you've got Adolfo on one side and Pelone on the other. Look at the replay here. Just tap, tap, Zubia knows. Nails in the coffin. We have a break to change horses in for the last two, two, two minutes and a half. So these guys will ride off each and every one of these players. All eight players will head over the back line to make a change here. Now, if you're not uh, up to speed with the pony changes, you can picture that back line kind of like the pit pit crew. You know, look at this. We're watching a live look here as these guys jump from one horse to the next. You watch Terera there and Hilario Ujoa not even get off their horse. They jump right from the back of one to the other. We see Adolfo remounting there. So they go into the pit area, so to speak, over the back line. They get a new pony. They might need a new mallet. They either will put spurs on, maybe take spurs off, depending on what horse they're playing. Maybe a sip of water, who knows. But they come back out, refreshed, recharged, and all of these players with a fresh set of legs underneath them. Kind of like coming out of the pits with fresh tires and... Uh, a little bit of a wing adjustment or something like that. So anyway, they come back to midfield. They'll line up on the officials for the 234 remaining here in the half. Right. 
4-3, Colorado by one. Off we go again. Adolfo wins the lineup, gets a hold of it. Adolfo's on his lonesome, downfield he goes. Kavan is in behind, Zubi is out to his right, goes back to defend. Adolfo shoots from distance, it's high in the sky. Where is it gone? Yeah. Wide. Just good effort. And how about that, Eladio, thinking that he got fouled out there. I mean, he just checked up. He stopped out of yeah. the play. Yeah, yeah, he, th they, he thought he was going to whistle for him. And, and the umpires let it, let, it, let it go. I think they, they, they pretend to make an open, an open game. That's why... He, Hey, look, that's just like we saw all winter long in World Polo League action. These same two umpires, were, we watched all the action all winter long. We're seeing games an hour, an hour and 15 minutes long. They don't want to blow the whistle. They're going to blow the whistle only on a, you know, on a definite foul. They want to give these guys the opportunity to play. Ujoa lets it go. Next go. shot down towards Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's got the break on on. Pritos in behind the near side drive by Kavanaugh. Coming in now will be... Guillermo Terrera, that's the hardest shot in the back, isn't there? Great, great, what a play, great, play great, by play. Guillermo Terrera, and equally good by Diego Kavner. What team from, and superb finish by Terrera. From Man. the beginning, Hilario Joa managed well on a good pass to Diego, and, and, and they released the ball very quickly. So I mean, was alone. that guy is so smooth. If we say, see a replay on that, look at that. He's on a couscous, on couscous a valid expectations pony there. Uh, nice to see our four-legged athletes getting some recognition here as well. But, man, Guillermo Terrera delicately go, taking on the near side. And he's off again from the lineup, and there's the drive-in feel. Look at this, the next shot. Adolfo has pressure here, going back to the fence. Taken on by the number three, also in there. Oh, Adolfo's missed it. Danger. This could be very dangerous for Colorado. But look at it. Torres saves the day for Colorado and sends it over outfield toward his teammate over there. That is Sterling. Sterling down the side now. Adolfo's going forward for a pass. Juan Martin goes. Juan Martin Zubia is back there as well. But Sterling's on a quick one here. Look at this horse, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. He's riding a rocket. Sterling. Sterling, Shirley Sterling. What, what a goal. A goal and what a great a goal. from Gallego Martinez. <laughs> Look at that. Bellone loving it, giving a fist pump to the crowd out here on his ride out. It does not get any better than this. And I think that will take us out of the first half of action here. Chucker at number three wraps up with five to four on the scoreboard. Second half, fourth chucker. One goal separates these two magnificent polo teams. 5-4 to score. Umpire lines them up, ball is in play. Britos comes away and tries to steal it away from Juan Martin Zubia. The two young Argentine players, Britos reaching out. Zubia is chasing. Britos on the near side. Britos goes to goal. Can he finish it? One Britos. Wide. And those are two names there that we are going to be hearing running side by side for quite some time. The future of Polo out there. Two youngsters in Zubia and Britos, both in their early 20s. They made their, their debut in the Argentine Open this year. Last year, right? yeah, last yeah, year. Last year, yeah. they played together on the team of Lancenada. They qualified and they did a really good Open. Yeah. Zubia taken on by Torres in the red helmet. The American. Zubia leaves it in behind for teammate Hilario Ujoa. Torres picked his pocket there, but did he foul in the process? Yeah. I think he did. They pick him, they pick him up. With well, and the umpire he, had the best seat in the house for that one. I mean, he was right there. There's no question in his mind. Ujoa had to ride away. Torres, a little bit naughty going in there, but he had to have a go, didn't he? Well, yeah. I tell you what, it, it, it's hard not to. You would have had a go, of course. Twice if I could have. <laughs> we watched the replay here. Wanzu. See Torres thinking about it. He's thinking hard. Commits there with Zubia. One shot from there, Juan Zhu. Possibly, he's more than capable. Here we go, halfway hit, penalty 5B in favor of Hawaii Polo Life. Driven down towards the target along the ground, bump going in to defend will be Cambiasso coming in Hilario oh, Ujoa baby. Cambiasso thought he was fouled. He's not a happy camper. Ujoa has scored, it's five goals apiece, came on. How about that? I mean, that's that's big time. Great, great, great play from Hawaii. They put all the pressure on him, and and and, and the umpires didn't didn't see the, the a foul that can be Do you think Adolfo was having a little bit of a whinge there at the, at the umpires? Maybe, maybe uh, give it to me. No, 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 no. no, no. I don't think. I don't he can't, think say, so. that. He can't say that. He can't say that. That's the best man. He can't say that. We can't put Hayo in that spot. No. So nice balls and play there. far side. 
coming away with it now. It's a way polo life. They're putting the pressure here on Colorado. The ball's out to the left hand side. Up there goes. It looks like it's um, Hilario yeah. Ujoa along the back line. He goes. They're looking to take the lead for the first time in the game. Ujoa, how he's lost it to Cambiasso in behind. Also, there is Sterling. Sterling just checked up, takes his time. Kavala tries to steal, but Sterling gets away from him. Very, very clever play by from Santi Sterling. And look at the space he's made. Pelon, Sterling. Santi Pelon. Just, just, well, play, just I play, playing Spain. I, I think. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Santi's his brother. Sterling looks for the big drive infield towards Adolfo. The legend has it. Adolfo Cambiasso taken on now by Diego Cavanaugh on the chase. Look, at, look at this. Look at this. Horse run, ladies and gentlemen. Adolfo Cambiasso. Oh, Golazo yes. Cambiasso. Superb. Colorado, two he, goals advantage, 7 5. He's playing Diosa Coronada, who, who he really likes her. And she, she, she comes from one of her, her his best. Uh, Brut Mears, that was just an uh, Open Championship uh, in 2003 and 2004. Look at him. I mean, on final approach. Great speed. Great speed, amazing confidence. Like you said, he feels good on that horse. <coughs> and it translates. 6-5 to score. I beg your pardon. I think I crawled at 7-5 earlier. 6-5, just one goal separates them, and the ball is in play again. And it will be score, guys, score. Ujoa. Correction, it's Terrera. Terrera, big hit by Terrera. Oh, what oh, a stop by Sterling. And boy, did he have to stop ah. coming through very, very quickly Ooh. indeed. And what, oh, has it gone in? It's gone out to the left and goes wide. Oh, that was so unlucky for Guillermo Terrera. They don't stop the ball on the way to the goal. Eh? Wow. Mm. That looked like a certain goal, didn't it? Yeah. What an eye. Knock in, Colorado. 6-5 to score. The final. Triple Crown 2019. Cambiasso. Cuts the ball upfield, takes a little bit of a deflection off the horse, out to the side it goes. In comes Ujoa, taken on by the young Juan Britos. Ujoa's backhand, only as far as Cambiasso. Adolfo takes his time, he knows he has to ride away here. Guillermo gets out of the way. Adolfo, has he lost control? The umpire's whistle goes. It was Adolfo's ball all day long. Whistle's gone, penalty. Foul. Penalty from the center for, for Colorado. The, I, I think we, a checker, the checker before we had a similar situation, and they're also taking the break to change horses. Watch uh, the replay here. They come into the boards, off the boards, off Uj the mallet of Ujoa. Adolfo picks it up. And Terre cross it, cross in front of the line of the ball. He was kind of caught there, wasn't he? He was trying to get out of the way and turn yeah. but That's one of those theories that if the horse was close enough to kick it, he was close enough to foul. You have, to give like the, you have to give the advantage to the to right. the, to the, to the player the play. that got the, the possession of the ball, you know. So the players are off field changing ponies now. We take a look down the sidelines here at Polo Fest. We hope you guys are having a blast watching this all-star match here. A packed house at Polo Fest. Players coming back out, ready to jump back into chucker number four. Two minutes and 39 <laughs> seconds left to play. One goal separating these two teams, Colorado, with the lead by one. We're going to restart with a penalty in favor of Colorado from the spot. In other words, the point of the infringement. Adolfo, I'm sure, will be the one who will bring it forward. Close contest. Anyone's game, fellas, huh? Yeah, and we see these guys over here, the white, you know, the Hawaii Polo Life team in white jerseys. They're talking a little strategy here as they get ready. Adolfo makes his approach, and we're rolling again. Here we go. Cambiasso. Let's it go along the ground. Going up there to challenge will be Torres along with Juan Britos. Back to the fen goes Juan Martin Zubia. Zubia, what a tail shot by Zubia. What a pass, Zubia. Oh, unlucky there. Sterling goes over the top. Britos will get it back, but here comes Adolfo. His tail end, Charlie. He comes through from the back, but he's lost Ooh. control. Oh, Britos. Ooh. Britos gets it away. Did he get the foul in there? I think Zubia got the foul on Britos, yeah. correct? Hey, oh. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he got the foul. He, I think he stopped a good attack of the Oof. Colorado team. Uh, Let's watch the replay. Sh should have sent him off, really, shouldn't he? He's the last man. and should be taken <laughs> up to the. Should be sent, taken up to the penalty too. Yeah, maybe. At least. Yeah, they're gonna go to the to the penalty four. Mm, no, they stay in the middle. No, it's gonna be a five from midfield. Oh. Two seventeen left to play. Chucker number four, six to five on the scoreboard. And Diego Cavanaugh getting this one teed up there as he chats with Eladio Ujoa. We'll see who's going to do the honors. <coughs> Wanzu checks back in at midfield. Zubia. Uh, 
to bring it forward. Two minutes, 17 on the clock. Juan Martin, Torres waiting in front with the red helmet. Juan Martin down the center, he's hit it a good 80, 90 yards. Sterling must get the backhand and does so. What a turnaround by Sterling. Oh, but it's met by Juan Ma who breaks it head on. Juan Ma near side, pick up to the side it goes. Will he play the next oh. shot? He's taken on by Britos. He was Bruce's. unlucky, Juan Ma, he picked up another ball and, and he bounced on a back leg and gave the line to, to Adolfo. So we are going back to the middle for the Colorado team now. Very, very unlucky, and the penalty will go the way of Colorado. Well struck ball. From Zubia initially. Oh, nice pick up there by Adolfo. Just jumping on that line quick enough. I mean, that's why the guy's one of the best, you know, the best. His ability to jump on that. We saw it all winter long in World Polo League competition in Florida. Just those little movements that he makes to put him on the line, the things that he does. Right at Dolfo, launches one down to the target. Torres tries to keep it in play. Has it gone over the back line? I think it has. Just gave it a little bit too much purchase on that. Over the back line and wide to the left. It'll be a knock-in for Hawaiian. Hawaii Polo Life. 137 counting down on the clock. Anyone's game here in the Triple Crown Final 2019. 6-5 the score. Just waiting for the umpire. Oh, hang on a sec. I think we might have a safety, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It came off the defending player's mallet. In this case, when it comes off the defending player's mallet, the ball is placed 60 yards out onto the field. In other words, it's a penalty, basically, in favor of the opposition. And it comes 60 yards out onto the field from the point where it went over the back line. For you soccer or football fans out there, there you might there you compare this to the, a corner kick, something Sorry. like that. In the replay, Santi, Santi Torres tried to put the ball in play and, and he hit the Juan Susu mallet and he went out. So Juan Martin Zubia to make it, I should correction, Juan Britos to make it 7-5, 60 yards defender goal, Britos. He's put it high. Has he hit it straight? Oh, that's a beautiful strike from Juan Britos. And all of a sudden, it's a two-goal advantage. They have that back now. Colorado 7, Hawaii Polo Life 5. A lot of Polo yet, boys. Yeah, Colorado, uh, Hawaii started the check well, putting a lot of pressure on, on Colorado's uh, goal. And in the first, in the first uh, situation that uh, Colorado had, they put, they put it in and it's two-goal up now. In play, far side, counting down the clock. Juan Martin Zubia taken on by Torres. Zubia looks for the big one, drives it downfield. Backhand by Sterling, turns it. Coming on, Adolfo. What a pickup by Adolfo Cambiasso. Out to his right-hand side is Juan Martin Zubia. Near side drive by Cambiasso. Zubia has a cover, though. Look at this, Zubia Cambiasso. Zubia oh. looked for the little belly shot there. The millionaire shot, didn't get a hold of it. Kavna, nice play. Kavna pick up by Ujoa. Ujoa, who's being a bit quiet in this game, I have to say, in the last couple of checkers. But anyway, Ujoa has the call. Taken on there by Torres. Torres may have stolen it from Ujoa. And in there to help is Sterling. Also there, Torres gets it back. Still with Santi Torres. And the umpire said play it. And uh, it looked like it was Guillermo who went in there. He couldn't help himself, could he? But it was Torres' line. It was Santi's on the straight line to, yep. to go. And, and, and Terre trying to avoid that. He made the foul and they would probably give a, a penalty to in favor of... Of Colorado. And well, that's we'll the end, sorry Gus, that's the end of the fourth chakra, ladies and gentlemen. The players go back out, go back to change horses. Seven goals to five is the score, and they'll be back with the fifth chakra in a few moments. We're back to the action. Chucker number five, ready to come alive here at the Denver Polo Club at Polo Fest. We're looking at a penalty setup here. This is a... Uh, carry over from the end of the previous chucker any period any excuse me any penalties incurred after that 30 second horn carry over and that's how we start the following chucker so that's what we're doing here we see Juan Brito circling for Colorado looking to make it eight five Britos, no mistake from there. The goal is good. And Colorado have a three-goal advantage in the Triple Crown Final 2019. 8-5 to score. Back to the middle they go. You're 30 yards away on that penalty two shot. You've got an open goal. The people at home and sitting on the sidelines think, man, that's a gimme. 
How hard are those open goal penalties, hey ho? You've been there. You've been the guy making those shots. Yeah, Tell yeah. us about them. Yeah, yeah. I normally, yeah. I, I like to hit them. You like it. But you feel you feel a little pressure because as they are, they are not defending it. Sometimes uh, it's just you and the goal. You know? Just you and the goal. Back in business, far side, fifth chucker, eight five the score. Adolfo coming in there, Sterling, Ujoa. Ujoa has it. Ujoa looked for a big one, didn't quite get the shot. He wanted to come to cross. Torres with the saving shot. Ooh. Did he get it? Oh my god, Sterling's there. He goes over the top as well. Backhand sent in across field by Kavna. Where's it gone? It's still there, and I think it was Guillermo Terrera who gets the score. And Hawaii Polo Life are back in the hunt. It's 8 6. I tell you what, a slippery ball on the north side. A couple players coming in trying to make the big defensive swing. Unable to do it. Hawaii Polo Life takes advantage they made a mess of it didn't they to be well, quite frank about it yeah that is, that is quite yes. frank <laughs> yes <that's... laughs> it's easy from here isn't it it is i mean Tereda, he's had a couple of those where he's able to jump on that ball on the goal line and put it through right back in business far side what can hawaii polo like trailing by two here do cambiaso takes on the player but it's left now for one martin zubia one ma looks for a big one and finds it it's sent down towards that colorado goal again Bridos is there along with sterling sterling's trying to defend coming in now kavna steals it away kavna will look for the angle shot the shot by the angle kavna oh, goal, kavna oh. and all of a sudden it's an eight seven ball game superb stuff hey ho we have a game here <laughs> happy game. days yes we have a game colorado had a great a great four jackets and and, and now in, all in a sudden hawaii in two plays, put the put the game in by one. Uh, actually, sorry. Now you can see here uh, on on a breeding plan how how good and how effective it is that you can. Hilario is playing Ventura, that is a stallion, and Santi Torre is playing Festival, that is the son of the stallion, huh. and it's a stallion as well. You know. How about so, that? Yeah. Paul sent in field away. Paul off on the attack again. And they, oh, that wasn't far away. They almost got the equalizer. And do you think Colorado can bleed a little bit easy after that? They've come out pretty strong in this fifth chucker, haven't they, guys? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. A couple oh. of mishaps, unlucky ball, bounces of the ball has gotten this score a little bit closer. Adolfo from the back line. Out to his left-hand side, finds teammate Sterling. Helped out by Britos. Coming into challenge will be Ujoa. Sterling comes infield. Ujoa's on the chase in behind now. And Sterling has a bit of room to maneuver here. He looks for a big one up over the halfway line. He sends it. Adolfo's up there going back to the fem. Will be one Martin Zubia. Back and what a play by, by, by Zubia. Across field finds Terrera. Terrera might have the first time hit. No, he settles it down the ball. And there's the big drive upfield now coming forward. It will be Hilario Ujoa looking yeah, to make it 8 8. He's out to the left hand side. Ujoa, can he find the angle? No, is the answer. He's coming over oh, the still in play, it's still in play. What a play by Diego Kavna. Has he given it away? Kavna comes in. He's Juan Martin says, Leave it to me. Juan Martin changes the line. Juan Martin can get the equalizer. Surely Torres is there. They're all there. Hey. What's happening? They okay. stop riding. Foul, they whistle a foul in, in favor of Hawaii in the gold mouse. And I think they've been putting a lot of pressure lot of pressure on this chucker. Eh? They seem to be very comfortable on the horse list, eh? as I said, eh? in the fifth chuck. Well, we see that horse uh, highlighted there, Ventura, uh, under Hilario Ujo. And you said Ventura is the father of Festival, a father-son combo on the field right now. Yeah, yeah Very cool to you, see that with the horses. See, there you can see how, how, how good is the embryo uh, system and the breeding. And, and actually, Adolfo is in, is in Rapada, that is a daughter of raptor uh -huh. a clone of raptor actually from from the raptor was a old man that played many years in here in america with owen reichardt uh -huh. eight, eight eight the score two minutes 45 seconds in the penultimate chaka umpires have stopped play over on the far side look at that it looks like Eladio is uh i don't know if he Caught a mallet to the face or some sort of something. You can see him kind of trying to wipe his face clean maybe or brush it off. And the players are going off to change horses, ladies and gentlemen. They'll be back in a few moments with the remainder of this fifth chucker. What a contest, 8-8. Eight, eight. No doubt about it. Tied all here, 2.45 to play. Anyone's match, Eladio is going to stay on that stallion. Seven players change. 
He does not. No, no, he went to change it. Oh, he already Pro changed. Oh, he sorry, Terrera Carrera. stays. My bad. Hilaro will probably keep it for the, for the last minute, minute, come back minutes on. of the six chapters. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll look for that. We'll see if he comes back on that stallion. Um, actually, we'll see if Festival comes back because let's talk about that horse for a second. That is the horse that won best playing pony last at year. this tournament last, last year. year. Yeah, yeah. So that, that horse that Santi was on played three, or I think it was actually four times, three or four times under Adolfo and won Best Playing Pony. For those of you not familiar with the award ceremonies here, we award trophies to the winners, <coughs> to the runners-up, to the most valuable player, and most of our personal favorite awards, the Best Playing Pony Award that's voted on by a panel of judges to determine which pony has top honors as Best Playing Pony. So Festival won that last year. We'll see who takes top honors here today. Uh, this is a tough match to pick best playing pony that much for sure back in action off we go again britos takes the ball away from diego's hit up towards the goal britos goes over the top diego looks for the backhand didn't get much sterling has control sterling lets a go from distance will he find a target it's going 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 go lasso sterling from 70 yards and right through the middle nine eight another goal for colorado to stay up in the in the in the scoreboard and I think they won the first throwing that they won in this chucker. And, and they score. And they it. score. It's, and been, they it's been, sorry, it's been Hawaii's chucker so Chaka, far, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And Hawaii won all the throw-ins and, and score that, that every, every play that they, they had it. I mean, two guys, two white jerseys trying to stop that ball, not able to do so. It ends up on the scoreboard. 9-8 to score, back in business, staring in the fray again, looks to go back and defend, there's the little backhand across field, he sends it, one Blitos is there also, one across field, he comes towards the main stand here, at this magnificent polo clip, Denver, Colorado, Cambiasso will slow it down, good work by Torres, taking on Kavanagh, um, Adolfo lets it go upfield. He sees that two men are up there. One, it is Sterling. The other one is Britos, who cuts in behind. Sterling will look for the angled shot. Ooh. Just comes off Juan Ooh. Martin's horse. Sterling gets it back, being chased by Juan Martin, and the umpire stopped the play. Did it go over the back line, hey ho? Or I cannot see it? from here, yeah. but it seems they, they probably dangerous stick. The use of stick. That he, that you're talking about the player trying to hit it out of the air? Yeah, yeah he tried yeah. to hit it in the air, and it was Juanzo next to him. Dangerous use of the mallet is the official call on a situation like that. And the ball brought back into play here by Hawaii Polo. Juan Martin didn't quite get the shot he wanted there, yeah. and he's given the ball away. Back to Colorado. They're winning here by one. Adolfo has the call, and he drives it down towards the goal again. Adolfo comes in. He's ridden a big right off by Kavna in there, but Adolfo is up to it. Adolfo will score. That's why he's the best, ladies and gentlemen. Adolfo Cambiasso, double figures on the board for the first time in the contest. 10-8 Colorado. We are having a great checker. Five goals in less than one or six minutes. And Rocking and rolling. Yeah. The amazing thing about this chucker was in the first half it was all Hawaii and in the second half it's all Colorado. Uh, Colorado. Just when they needed it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the games changed very quickly. Yes. You know, in two or three plays. We'll see if they're going to have enough time here to get the ball back on the field. We are running the clock down here in chucker number five. The ball is in play. There is one more play to be made, and here we go. Can Colorado get a hold of it? Torres called off by Britos. In comes Adolfo, must take it on the near side. Adolfo taken on by Kavanaugh, out to his right hand side. What a play, Diego Kavanaugh. Saves the day momentarily from away. Ooh. Now coming to Sterling at pace. Britos is there to help out if required. Sterling, surely Sterling. Angle shot, couldn't find it. Backhand by Ujoa on the the gray turns it across field trying to find Terrera but he loses it out to Torres but Torres coming to goal Torres will shoot they've all stopped riding it's gone off oh. and the flexion goes out to the left hand side wide it, it should have been 11 8 it could have been, been, been he bounced on, on Juanzu on Juanzu was on, and, and went out so awesome action here through five chuckers of play in this triple crown final we watch these players ride off one more chucker of regulation play coming up after this. You are tuned in to Horseplay TV and the Polo Channel's live coverage of the Triple Crown Final. We'll be right back after this break. So that brings us here to the start of chucker number six, the sixth and final chucker in regulation here in this Triple Crown Final at Polo Fest. All the action on the north side here. Teams talking strategy, two goals separating Colorado and Hawaii Polo as Chucker number six knocks in. 
Juan Martin Zubia sends the ball outfield towards his teammate there. That is Hilario Ujoa. Ujoa drives it down the side of the field, takes a little bit of a hop, skip and a bounce. Coming in at Adolfo at pace. He checks up. Going in there also is Juan Martin Ujoa is in there as well. Adolfo has the call. Look at this, Ujoa taken on by one of the young players, Zubia. The horse kicked it out there in favor of uh, Adolfo. Oh. What a play by Adolfo Cambiasso now. He's turning, trying to turn around here. He looks to try and steal it away. What a play, Adolfo Cambiasso. This will be so Superb if he makes it. It's Cambiasso goes downfield. Oh. The pass down towards Torres. Torres can't get a hold of it. It's in the goal mount. Zubi is there, I should say. Britos there. Adolfo finishes it off. That is magnificent. You will not great, find great goal, yeah? you will not find better teamwork than that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. right there, that drop that that Britos One made. Did, yeah. I mean, unbelievable. He got a, he got eyes in, in his uh, back back, back, in, his back <laughs> in the back of the head. He I saw mean, watch this, down. watch this replay. Santi Torres, he has a little bit of a little bit of trouble here with it. He's trying to pump the brakes. Wano, what amazing player awareness to know that if he can dig that one out, Adolfo can crush it home. Great work. Back in business, far side, Adolfo now. He wants to win this Triple Crown, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this, he's turning it on again. Just takes a little bit of a tap and gets, uh, just takes a little bit of a knock rather off a defending player's horse. And turning onto it will be Hilario Ujoa. Can they get back into it here? Oh, Ujoa goes over the top. Oh, coming in with Adolfo with the back count. Nasty met by Juan Martin Zubia. Sterling's there along with Britos. Sterling backhand to the side finds teammate Adolfo. Adolfo will try and come in field. Adolfo, how will the, um, has the umpire's whistle blown? I think it has. He may have fouled one Martin Zubia. Would that be correct? Hey ho. Yeah, we'll no have I, to see. Let's yeah. see what they call. We'll see what the call is. Or did, was it the other way around? No, they whistled in favor of Colorado. 446 left to play. Regulation. We watch the replay from above. See Cambiasso, Luanzu trailing. It was before that, wasn't yeah. it? I think? Yeah, maybe, maybe it was a little past it there. So either way, the result, a penalty shot. We go to a penalty two here. Reminder, this is a 30-yard shot towards an undefended goal. They may not run out in front of the goal on this one. That's only penalty threes. This is a penalty two. It's 30 yards off the back line. An open goal situation here. One of Hayho's favorites. <laughs> and Juan Brito, Suano, the number two, with an amazing, coming off an amazing sis, assist on the other side, looking for a goal here. This is to make it 12. The goal is good, and Colorado are looking pretty smart here, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please put your hands together just halfway through this checker? What an entertaining game of polo from all of these players for Colorado and Hawaii Polo Life. Come on, give them a big hand of encouragement. What a game we've seen this afternoon. Fantastic polo, great skills. Thank you all so much. 12-8 here as we look to resume. Checker number six. Back in business, in the center. What can Polo, I should say, Hawaii do about this? They've lost the line out, and it'll be Britos who has it, taken on there by Terrera. He gets rid of Terrera, and Britos sends it upfield, trying to find his teammate there. Sterling or indeed Adolfo. Backhand by Ujoa, doesn't get out of the. Look at this, pick up by one Britos. Oh, he's trying to take it on the half volley out of the air. So one Martin Zubia goes back to defend, flicks it away, away from Adolfo Cambiasso. Good working behind there by Diego Cavanaugh, tries to take out Cambiasso. Oh, the top by from Juan Martin coming through from the back also Hilario Hilario Ujoa now looking to make it try and get back into this game here 12-8 the score can he make it 12-9 he loses control over the top there also by Guillermo Terrera Zubia is there also the whistle blows what do we see there hey ho uh, I would say that it was in favor of Hawaii eh, because uh, Diego was in the straight line yes he left the ball behind a little bit but Adolfo wasn't coming in the same line of the ball and they, they're going to get probably up. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe, like I'm, maybe I'm wrong. There's one other shot I'd like to give, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. And that's a big hand to all of the grooms who work so hard. The turnout of these horses, they're up early doors. I mean, you're talking early, to before the sunrise. From Sunday to Sunday. From Sunday to Sunday, nonstop. The care and attention they give to these horses. And well done to all the grooms, all the lads and lasses down the polo lines on the cold face of polo. Without them, we wouldn't have the game. Quite simple. Yep, no doubt about that. Takes a lot of a lot of personnel, a lot of people on every side of this match 
uh, to, to, to make things like this happen. Horses taken care of at this level. We saw it all winter long in the World Polo League. Same level of play with the umpires, the, the fast pace, and here they're going. They're rocking and rolling again. Spot hit, taken on by Adolfo, finds Sterling. Sterling lets it go. Can Torres get there? Sterling may have even have scored. Torres doesn't need to touch it. Does he? No, he doesn't. Sterling, it's another one. And I can tell you now, ladies and gentlemen, they have a five-goal advantage, and they're looking very, very good indeed for the Triple Crown Final 2019. 3.08 left here in regulation, and Colorado goes up by five, Greg. <laughs> I don't Watch think the replay. Is, is yeah, it, is, they, is it a way back, Kejo? The, the three minutes remaining and there's five goals difference. Hard. They think Colorado had an excellent last two minutes of the of the fifth chakra again. Yes. And the beginning of this chakra, and that was the difference. Juan Martin Zubia wins the lineup for Hawaii. The backhand unlucky off the horse. Torres gets it. The American brings it forward. Torres now. Santiago. Bring it forward in behind is Juan Britos. He had to reach for that one time. The Torres, the backhand, turns around by Juan Martin Dubia. Nicely done. Coming onto it now will be Hilario Joa on the grey. Also, win there is Juan Britos. Britos goes back to defend. Here comes the backhand. Didn't get more. Oh, what a play by Britos. One hand to white coordination from the 10 goaler on the grey. Can he go and score and make it 13 9? It is Hilario Joa, surely. Sterling comes in and steals it. Oh, he left it behind and Sterling gets the clearance over to the far side. Look at this from Britos. He's giving it. Exhibition polo here, a little bit of a tap out of the air. Back to the thing goes Juan Martin Zubia. Backhand by Juan Martin over to the far board, met by Britos. Backhand Britos is looking pretty good here for Colorado. And it is Torres who puts on the pace. Torres taken out of the play, leaves it behind. And now Hilario on the grey. One less than two minutes remaining in the chucker. I can safely say now, ladies and gentlemen, it is Colorado who will be, who'll be the Triple Crown champions as Diego Kavner has the ball. They're still fighting here, in fairness to Hawaii. Adolfo brings it, turns it around, lets the ball go out to the left-hand side, tries to get away. Good play by, it was Kavna, left, ball, left the ball behind for Juan Martin Zubia. They're still looking for a goal. Fair play to them, guys. They're still going for it here. Looking no for doubt, it. no doubt. 120 to go here. And this will seal the deal, it looks like. It is Juan Britos who brings it forward, looking to make it 14. Hilario Ojo. Oh, what a stop by Hilario. <laughs> yeah, he, pocket picking. How cool was that? Little flick, turns it around. Hilario still fighting on the grey. Brings it downfield. I hope they get one back. There's a minute remaining. 13 8 to score. Oh, I don't believe it. How much time is left, guys? Very little time remaining. 50 the, seconds remaining. 50 seconds remaining, and there's Adolfo. Let's it go upfield, and I think they're going to stop. They're going to save the horses. They're going to shake hands and give them a huge hand, ladies and gentlemen. It's congratulations to Colorado. Commiserations to Hawaii Polo Life. This final score here, gentlemen, is Colorado 13, Hawaii Polo Life 8. What a game. What a game. You took I the think, words out I of my think, mate. I think, I think we had an excellent game, and, and they were, were, we had a great place, team plays, and great goal uh, during during the, all the chakras. Great individual goals. All great individual goals. I think Colorado uh, took a little bit of an advantage when Hawaii was coming strong from behind and, and, and end up the fifth chakra uh, by two, and, and the sixth chakra was very strong for them. I thought it was a little bit unlucky in the fifth because color of, I mean, Hawaii. They won everything in the in the fifth chucker, and they got to level, and then all of a sudden they well, um, Colorado they, win the lineup, yes. and they score a goal, then they get a little bit more momentum, and all of a sudden Hawaii are behind by two. Yeah, yeah. And so that's what we're going to look at here. We've got highlights coming at us here. A great goal on that one. Adolfo not happy, much happier with this result. Mm -hmm. Joa coming through, looking for something more on that one, not finding it. Oh, and a great touch here. Tere. So great in those tight quarter situations. Yeah, short plays and small movements. Diego just reaching for it and finding that ball at home. Very good backup play there as one mark came around. Adolfo here yeah. doing his thing, brushes off Kavanaugh and sends that one right between the uprights and for the high flag. 
And Kavanaugh went for that one, didn't he? He wanted to get a golf ball off the line there, eh? Let's see who went, if we went hard. A check presented to the All-Pro WPL World Polo League, the Triple Crown Champions. They walk away with 40K here today. Colorado from left to right. Santi Torres, Juan Obritos, Palone, Sterling, Adolfo Cambiasso. Dale Smickless to present the awards and the check. How about that? 40,000 to the winners.